The ISO turning market's inundated with inserts, but you've got something a little bit different, haven't you? Yeah, it's a, a product that's um, geared towards smaller depths of cut, um, semi-finishing and finishing applications, um, because industry now um, are generating and creating forgings that are nearer size, not so much metal to remove. Um, so if we look at the majority of um, the UK market, they're probably taking between no more than three millimeter depth of cut, perhaps 70% mm -hmm. of the UK market. So we've geared up a, a product to adapt to that situation for that application. And what is that? Is it a smaller insert? Yeah, it's a smaller insert, but um, it's um, a thick, it's a thick insert. The, uh, the, the traditional CNMG 1204, um, we've got a CNMG 0904. So the insert thicknesses across the range are the same thickness as those that are out in the market, but the physical size is smaller. Because it's at the same thickness, you're not losing rigidity, it's not going to no, crack. It's not, not at all, break. no, no, not at all. Okay, you could argue it's a stronger insert because you've got that spread over a, a, sh a smaller distance. But in terms of the tool holders, you've got the full range again? Full range of uh, tools um, from external tool holders, boring bars, um, even on Capto um, tool holders. Um, we do tool holders for um, sliding head machines. Um, and we also have a choice of uh, clamping system for the insert. So if you have a choice of top clamp, you could actually have a screw only in a boring bar. And we also have the lever pin to our clamping system. So that suits so whichever customer's preference, we can cater for the customer preference. And the same with the materials. I see you've got polished inserts here for, you know, you know your aluminiums and what have you, but you've got something for cast iron, super alloys. We've got a full range of CVD and PVD coated inserts, yeah, for, we can cut anything from super alloys, heat resistant super, um, heat resistant super alloys, right down to non-ferrous uh, material, yeah. So essentially what we're saying is if, if you're taking three millimetres or below, which like you say is the big chunk of the market, isn't it? You're saying, why waste your money, aren't you? Because a lot of that money, it's, it's like buying a massive shopping bag to buy some tea bags, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. If, if you're taking less than three millimetre depth of cut, you really ought to be seriously looking at uh, introducing mm -hmm. Rhino Rush to save as much as 38% wow, uh, okay. on list price of our, of our competitors. Okay, so there's no loss of performance and it's cheaper. Yeah. Kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. 100%. So, so when you go in and look at a job now, is the first thing you think, can I get this onto uh, Rhino Rush? I think it's a, one of the first points of, points of call, especially if they're taking, first thing is to analyse, if they're taking uh, less than three millimetre depth of cut, we could save, seriously save the end user a lot of money on carbide uh, costs alone. On top of that, through our grades and our geometries, we can introduce uh, improved productivity as well. Mm -hmm. So a combination of both. And there's environmental savings as well. Obviously, this is a <laughs> this carbide's going to run out eventually, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. It's not a bottomless pit, the uh, carbide mine. So we've got to be careful. Customers have to be careful of where they're using it because one day, if we're not careful, it's going to run out. And I wouldn't know where we'd be if without any carbide in the metal cutting world. Back on the HSS. <laughs> Back on the HSS. <laughs> so I'm looking at these, is it purely pressed inserts you offer? No, no, we do a full range of pressed uh, inserts, but we also do a range of ground inserts for um, heat resistant super alloys. We need a strong hedge. And obviously comparing again against the competition, then price against a VNG G uh, 13 to a VNGG 16, there's a large savings in carbide costs alone. So available in PVD coated and uncoated ground inserts. 